In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get super fast hands while at the kitchen line. We're gonna go over the proper form like the pros have, and then we're gonna go into actual drills on how you can improve your hand speed. A lot of people think having fast hands is all genetic and only for young kids. It's not the case at all. It's all in the actual form. Starting with the form, it's really important that we keep our feet completely still. A lot of newer players, when they hit, they'll step or they'll be on their toes. You want to be completely flat and just use all arm. This is going to increase your reaction time. For our paddle position, we want to be looking through it with the tip of our nose. A lot of people hit and bring their paddle down here. We want to be out in front. Now we want to pretend that we have a ball underneath of our armpit when we're in a hands battle. This is gonna keep our paddle upright like this, and this is gonna allow us to hit down on the ball with this wrist snap. Beginners tend to do this, and when they do this, it goes at the person's chest high. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be like this, so we can snap down on the ball. It's important to know how we really win a hands battle. So if we think of it this way, we're 50-50 to start. Then when the ball's going back and forth to each other, whoever's able to get that edge and hit down on the ball, their odds of winning goes drastically up because the other person who's on the lower end is forced to hit up on the ball, which gives their opponent an overhead, ideally. So our entire purpose of the hands battle is to hit down on the ball and make our opponent hit up in as little shots as possible. Let's pretend there's an opponent there and he speeds up at me. This is what it would look like as a beginner, like that. And now this is what it would look like with the proper arm being down like this. You can see with your arm like this, you're staying in the firefight, where when you have your arm down, you're stopping it before it even happens. Now we're gonna go over how I generate so much power in these shots. A little harder, sorry, no, sorry, doing that? sorry, <laughs> ready, <laughs> sorry, I'm a, that's it, that's it, that's it. The way I'm able to hit so hard on these shots is my wrist stays cocked like this. So just like this, holding the paddle. And then when I hit the ball, I'm snapping forward and coming right back. A lot of beginners tend to just push like this with all arm and all shoulder. When I hit, no matter how hard I hit it, I'm always anticipating the next ball to come back. So I wanna stay really compact. So whether it's a backhand or a forehand, I'm always gonna hit and reload and be ready for that next ball. It's important that we don't hit and we're way out here or I swing and I'm way over here. When we're in our ready position with our nose looking through our paddle, we do not wanna be straight on like this. We wanna cheat a little bit toward our backhand. The reason is, when the ball's coming really fast, we wanna just assume that we're gonna hit a backhand because we can go everywhere with our backhand, with our forehand, I can't go past here. By being straight on, up and down, we have to have a conscious thought, do I hit a forehand, do I hit a backhand? Whereas when we cheat a little bit toward our backhand, we're not thinking, we're just reacting to wherever the ball is, and this is gonna allow us to hit all backhands unless a ball comes way out wide, we should naturally just reach for it with our forehand. A good way to practice that snap for power is go up against the wall, and then you're gonna to wanna to lob one ball up like that, and then snap the next one. So this is what it'll look like. And then you can just catch it and reset and do a couple reps like that. That's the form of how to have fast hands like the pros. Now we're gonna do actual drills, starting from easiest and going to hardest, so you can train this skill and make it a strong part of your game. The first drill we're gonna do to increase our reaction time is we're both gonna take one step in the kitchen and we're gonna have a hands battle like this, cooperatively, just going back and forth, getting comfortable with the distance. And then we can speed it up a little bit Good. Then we're gonna take that step out of the kitchen and you're gonna see the ball feels way slower. I personally love doing this at tournaments because it instantly helps with your reaction time. 
The next drill we're going to do to get comfortable attacking like this instead of this is we're going to place a ball under our armpit. And then if that ball falls out, I'm doing the drill wrong. Here we go. This next drill is one of my personal favorites. It's all about tracking the ball and being able to hit a solid counter. So how it's gonna work, I'm gonna throw a ball up to Francesca. She's going to speed it up at me and I just have to track where it is. She can go anywhere and counter hard. To take this drill one step farther, we can identify a spot on my body that I might be weak at. So let's just say my two-handed backhand I wanna work on. So I'm gonna throw the ball up to Francesca. She has to speed it up to this spot, my two-hand backhand. And then when I hit it, I'm gonna aim at her chest and then we're gonna play out the point. Francesca's coming off of an injury. She had a torn ACL, so she hasn't played in about two years. So we're going nice and easy with these drills, but you can speed it up as you may. If you've learned anything so far, consider pressing that subscribe button. I post videos every four days. This is a very high level drill that you're about to see. And if you implement it into your drilling routine, it will really enhance your game. I'm gonna show it to you and then I'll explain it after. So we're standing in the mid court and this is simulating I eventually get a good reset to Francesca and she gives me a meatball back in an actual game. I don't want to reset a ball up here. I want to crush it and follow it in to play it out. This is also great practice for the person at the net defending a hard shot. It's almost like you hit a bad return. You're here. You know they're going to crush it. So it's good practice for that. They're all the drills you should be doing at the court to get fast hands. I'm going to show you one quick one that you can do at your house to help improve if you're struggling. In our garage or outside, we're going to come as close to the wall as possible that we can. And we're just going to work on that wrist snap and being ready for the next one. Just like this. This forces us to hit the ball and be ready for the next one. If you're a beginner, the biggest issue you're probably running into is you hit and you're not ready for the next ball. That is the drill that will solve that. Having fast hands is the most important skill in pickleball. It will get you out of a lot of sticky situations. 